We now consider more than 1.1 million IDPs, internally displaced people in northern Darfur. The population is surviving in a situation that remains um, unimaginable for the rest of the world in terms of access to water, to food, to the minimum health services. We carried out in January a, a rapid nutritional assessment and the result of this assessment is extremely alarming. More than 23% of the children aged uh, from 6 months to 5 years suffer from acute malnutrition and 7% uh, of whom are severely malnourished. It's 2.3 uh, children under 5 who die every day per 10,000 people, which means that if we consider the population of the camp at the low range of 300,000 people, it's more than 13 children dying every day. Those who haven't died uh, yet are at high risk of dying within 3, 4, 6 weeks, mainly because their immune system has been really compromised and death can occur with a very trivial infections or by diarrhea, with dehydration, by malaria, by pneumonia. The mortality rate for children and adults also, what we call the crude mortality rate, is massive at 2.5 persons per 10,000 people per day, which is really above the emergency uh, threshold. It's, it's also important to understand that the current period and the period this assessment was done is in January. And it's a period of the year which is supposed to be at the lowest levels of malnutrition because uh, harvests have been done. To date, uh, MSF is the uh, only major uh, actor to provide uh, free pediatric medical activities in the area. Um, in Zamzam Camp, the primary health center is one of the few outpatient centers in Darfur to be supplied with uh, inputs, with equipment, medicine. The number, the severity of the patients is very high. 